Let's open the top one. I got two words for you. What they call me? All right, we're going to get part two going of this $328 storage auction mystery unboxing. I hope you guys like this style. I got a lot of good positive feedback in the first video. Here's a picture of the actual unit, $328 abandoned storage full of dust and cobwebs. My favorite, always a plus, always something that just instantly I'm intrigued by the storage unit. I just need to know the story. I saw things in there like that wooden box that you will see in this video. It's just, I have to know what's in there and you see that level of dust. I wanna know why somebody physically spent, let's just say for example, they spent $7,000 in that unit because they were there for like five to uh, eight years. They were there for a long time. I think she said 2001 or 2004, even probably much farther than I'm saying, but it was at least like 10 years to get that level of dust. There was not the value worth what they spent in rent on that unit. And that is almost a story every time. And I'm so intrigued to figure that out sometimes more than I am necessarily make money as I need to know why, because I feel like every time there's something in that unit that they spent all this money on. Anyway, let's finish watching this unboxing. Uh, let's go. Here we have box 16 that was already open, not by me, in the storage unit. So I don't have to get my knife and cut it. And it also makes me wonder why Bebe, that seems to be her brand. She was a Bebe person. People have their brands. I'm a Nike guy myself. Kind of small. I would do a locker wear challenge on that, but I don't think that would fit me, guys. Brand new, though. Brand new. I think we have to put that on eBay. Can't tell if she wore the bottom and the top, maybe, but it says $69. So we might have to take a look at that on to eBay. polish Ralph Lauren that's a nice brand Wow who the heck wears a shirt like that what is that is that's a shirt ladies and gentlemen a shirt that is uh, cute dang all right all righty we got a monkey. We got a monkey. We got more monkeys. This is a cute little coin purse right there. There is a coin in there. I found one penny. I'm gonna keep that. Live strong. Shout out to Live Strong. Cute little items of clothing and accessories. Ooh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Be careful. Be careful. Easy does it. Ooh, it's wilting a little bit. Rabbit fur, fur are fur origin from France, made in China. Interesting. That might be worth a few bucks, at least 25, 30 bucks probably to the right person. There are people who enjoy wearing rabbit. Silly rabbit tricks are for kids. Eat it raw. I, could, I would probably wear that if it didn't have a curved bill. I like a flat bill. That is kind of dope. LL Cool J. I need love. Alex likes that song. He plays it on the piano. Y'all seen that in the vlog? Not vlog, the $10 unit. We was doing a $10 abandoned storage, or maybe it was five. I forget which one. I think it was 10. $10 abandoned storage. And he played the little, I got love for you guys. LL Cool J. Made these popular. And true Honda is so. Uh, what kind of shoes do we got? We have Bandolino. I don't feel that's a very pricey brand. No. It's like five. Nothing special here in the in the shoe in the first department. That's like a Tommy Hilfiger, possibly. Yep. That's probably a few bucks on eBay. Anything Tommy Hilfiger seems to be hot. It just sells all the time on eBay. If you want to put some clothes on, that's one brand to look for. Bebe. Probably want to put those on eBay. Purses, purses. That's kind of cool. America. It's a good bag. Old Navy, 2004. America. Love America. 
cowgirl. Oh, I know somebody. I know just who to give this to. I know just who to give this to right here. Shout out to my homie. I'm saving this for you, buddy. Saving this for you. Box 15 here is partially, I guess it's been resealed. It's kind of weird. It has the words trash written on it. Like, I'm not even intrigued and enthusiastic about looking in a box that says trash. It kind of bugs me. Composition book, notes, glassware, cheap picture frame. What in the world? Oh, look at those. Weird boxy mark trash. Puma. These gotta be something right here. Puma roller skates. Pink. If only those were my size or Uncle Michael's, because Uncle Michael and I are going to have a race soon on rollerblades and skates. What do we have here? We have some cigars. We have some stuff here. And we have some Tic Tacs. I was gonna eat some of those. But they're for a wedding. Thank you for sharing our special day. I can't eat those. That's like bad luck to eat somebody's wedding Tic Tacs. That is bad luck. Just saying. Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make bathtub time lots of fun. College teddy bear. This is probably more wedding stuff. Oh my. Oh, thank the Lord. Wedding stuff gives me the bad jujus. It's just personal stuff. Hashtag don't take a personal. Hashtag put it back and get it back to them. We have baby. Another baby. Something. Those are cute little pants. Those are cute little pants, too. No, that's a schwang or something. We'll set the Bebe aside, because Bebe, I think we're gonna put on eBay. Gotta take a look. I'm not been keeping up on my Bebe. Charmed Connections Ultra Trading Premium Card. I'm gonna set that aside just to be looked at. Let me get money. This is a purse. Purse is a purse. It's a Chinese cootie catcher purse. Like the finger things where you get. What do they got here? Tether bill. Hall package. Turntable Tim. Mel smell. These are 2006. I'm not really impressed by those either. Okay, that box was not fun. Had very little intrigue, but then again, it was marked trash. Now we'll put everything back. This box right here is clearly marked shred. I'm going to guess this is the, uh, all the wedding photos inside of here or something because the box marked shred. Whew. I don't know. Let's see. Looking like paper. And it is paperwork, personal paperwork. Stuff people don't care about. Hello, what were you guys doing on eBay? Garden butterfly silver beads, a buck fifty. They were just buying stuff or were they selling stuff? Maybe they were eBay sellers. Maybe they were eBay sellers. Oh, great. Caught me off guard. That's the stuff you find in storage units right there. There's no photos in there, but it says Aaron's News. Who, who is this? What do we have here? Aaron, great working with you. Anybody, anybody know autographs? 
Don't know who that is. And anybody named Aaron, Aaron with the uh, Y N N. That's all you. That's all you. We'll give it back to them probably. Personal, personal, personal. Never know if there could be gold in here. Nope, checks. Nope, checks. Believe it or not, this person walked away from this stuff. They've been out of the country for years. They said, what I, what I understand, they've been in Hawaii and they just decided to stop paying their bills because that's the way storage units work. People buy these storage units to rent, put this stuff in there for years, years. This stuff has been there for probably 10, 12 years. Hands down, 10, 12 years. And that's what happens. You pay for stuff that you really shouldn't have ever had. You lost 10 times the value in any of this, whether it's personal or sentimental or monetary. Well, here we have a box that is sealed. Box and wrap. Let's see here. Let's see. Nothing but blankets. Not your, uh, ooh. See, here I go talking smack, and look where it is. It's a Ralph Lauren blanket. Ralph Lauren. That's good. That's not like your average four or five dollar blanket. That is a something dollar. Interesting how that's opened up already. Interesting. What is it? Neat little box. Very cute. Very red. Very Asian decorative. Full of vintage, unused oxygen. Very rare these days and age to find vintage oxygen. What do we have here? Ralph Lauren throw blanket. Just kidding, we won't do it twice. Then we have another throw Shaw blanket. It's just getting so fun here. We've got coat hangers and co it's all coat hangers. They're very meticulous for not any real reason. We have some keychains that they were making. HCM tape measure. And that is another box. All right. We have another open box already. Sadly, it's already opened by somebody. Um, what in the world? Well, sometimes in life, you ask a question, you shall receive an answer. Here we go. Dr. Frank. Dr. Frank has the hands of a surgeon. John Frank was blessed. John Frank took his hands from football to surgery. He's now one of the top plastic surgeons in the Bay Area. All right, so basically, we now know who John Frank is. And we have a lot of personal paperwork again. A lot of books, nothing important to look at. Learn Japanese. That could probably be a good textbook. We should take a look at those. Textbooks are always hot. Oh, wow. Somebody really likes enjoying writing. It was, woo, woo, we're getting technical here. This made me, <coughs> whoo, allergic. <coughs> All these words. You see that? And it was written up in the book of life that man shall endure forevermore. Well, did you know the pen is stronger than the knife? They can kill you once, but they can't kill you twice. Did you know the destruction? Of the flesh is not the ending to life. Fear not that of the Antichrist. This must be a biblical passage of some form. This must have been something that struck a chord in their brain and they really enjoyed it. Unless they're writing poem, because here's something about being unloved and stuff. I love poetry. One of my hobbies, I write poetry. Some of you might know that because I, every now and then I'll put one up on my Instagram or something, but I enjoy writing poetry, believe it or not, and other things of that nature. I'm very creative uh, hence why i do youtube i do youtube because of the not just because i like to buy storage units but because i love being creative look at that north face those have to be something on ebay they're a little bit worn slightly they're slip on they're small but north face anything is not cheap i don't know what it is about the collector ability of north face right now but it's always hot steffi Steffi. Doesn't look very expensive there. Pearl. Those are kind of weird. The lights. Stop. 
lights went out. We got to turn the lights back on. Where did the lights go? All righty then. Now we're back. I beams Q. Let's see if we have another one of those. I don't know what the fuck is. Ooh, is that a price tag? I love anything with the price tag. $69.99. Dressable boutique. What kind of business orientated uh, motif there. $12.99. Beanie. Once again, too small for me. I'm, there's nothing in this unit that I can really, really, really try on or keep to add to my lockerware collection. These are interesting. What are they? Pearl Izumi technology that fits. Pretty good condition. That's got to be at least $10 because of the condition of them. I don't know the brand. Don't know the value. I'm speculating if somebody just came up and said without me looking up on YouTube, sold, highest first, scroll down to the middle, find out medium price. But I would have to do that. And then I would just say 10 if I didn't know. I physically do not have the time to look up every item unless I let it sit for a long time and I, I have to be picky and choosy on that. Stuff gets piled up like crazy around here. Nothing. Oh, I hate when you close something thinking you're opening it and then really you're... Here, some lipstick. Nice. Red Corral. CQ. Red Corral. That was her flavor right there. Red Corral. Red Corral. Made in England, Doc Martens. Doc Martens. Those are kind of cool. Those have to be a couple bucks themselves there. Doesn't say a size because they're worn, but they look really good shape on the outside. All right, that's another box, damn. All right, this box is already open. Color ink paper kit. Color ink paper kit. I guess we'll look those up. Ink is very good to sell, even if you can recycle it, even they say. But it's very good to sell because people need it. You got good workable ink. It's always a fast, for the most part, somewhat decent sell. It's not like, hey, I'm making 40 bucks a sale, but it is a sellable item. Looks like we got styrofoam. They took a very good care of the styrofoam. We got some great books in here. Self Matters by Dr. Phil. Self Matters, creating your life from the inside out. Amen, Dr. Phil. You're a wise man there. Bill O'Reilly, The Spin Zone. That sounds political. We don't do politics. Um, the Secrets of Nostradamus. Nostradamus was a secret keeper. Interesting books. Uh, Instant Feng Shui. Feng Shui. Feng Shui. Feng Shui. Palmistry, that, uh, <laughs> I don't even want to know what palmistry is about. Feng Shui, the Chinese art of living in harmony with your surroundings. It's, I've always uh, been intrigued by that. I don't know if I could live that way, but I'd be interested in taking a glance at that. Interviewing skills. Anybody out there need a job? Um, we're teaching interviewing skills. Practical techniques show you how to write an advertisement, control, interview, interpret body language, and select a candidate. Very essential. Obsessions of an extraordinary executive. Okay, that sounds a little creepy. 10,000 Dreams Interpreted, a dictionary of dreams. I love dreams. I forget mine often. I will take the time to look at that someday too because I'm always Googling dreams, dream things. Dream, 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 dream. Oh, the moment we've all been waiting for. The very moment right here. What was in this box? It shook a little bit like there was something in it. It's kind of why I bought the unit. Like if I see something like dust, see this dust right here? See that, watch. See that? Let's do it again. When you see that level of dust in a storage unit, that's one of my, probably my biggest turn on is dust in a storage unit. A box like this, I have no idea really what exactly it's for. The first thing I think is uh, little drawers like this. Top is either a machinist, a jewelry person, a collector of some form. It says Thomas Museum Series. I don't really know what that is, but that's what made, made me intrigued by this unit. So let's see what is, if anything is in it. Let's pick a drawer. Nothing. I lied. Please be something. Damn. That was 
I don't know if it's real. My heart stopped for a minute. My heart stopped for a minute. That would have been a nice diamond. Gosh, gosh. Maybe it could be, though. Maybe it... It looks kind of green, but... It says 18 karat. No, that does say GE. That's what I thought. Electroplate. That's what I thought when I first looked at it. Once I picked it up... Bummer, man. Bummer. I got my heart going. I got my heart going. Like a lot. I don't even want to look in the rest now. That just totally disappointed me. That's so... Nope. Nothing. Something. What do we got here? Nope. Nope. Costume jewelry. Oral final. Looks like it's plated or something of that nature. <coughs> the dust in this unit. Oh my gosh. That is cool. I like hearts. It's not cool enough for me to wear. It looks like a silver. I don't see any gold. I don't see anything looking like it's something I'm gonna be excited about. That's the problem when I first look at things is if I can spot gold. Like sometimes I hear people laugh like you can't I touch so much gold you can't do that. I literally just see and then I could tell you if there's gold by the coloration of everything. Nada. Nada, nada. This is kind of cool. It's not cool in the sense that it has value. It's cool in the sense that I like it because I don't know what it is and it has something in it, little pink dust. Look at that little, maybe it's fairy dust, pixie dust. It is pixie dust. You've got to be kidding me. There's, ma I found magical pixie dust. That's it. That's all, this whole unit was worth it. This right here, I probably, it's like Cupid dust maybe. Maybe it's love potion dust. Maybe it's wishes dust. I don't know, but I have pixie dust now, so. This whole unit is now worth it. We have pixie dust. Look close up here. Nothing. Nothing extravagance. It's just all. Man, that ring still got my heart pumping. I like got excited. I already pulled that drawer out. No. no that's why I don't do this, Michael. nice box this box has got to be 25 30 bucks nice box fake ring almost had a heart attack there with that one thought i had found a nice little diamond ring wah, wah, wah. the work the work is where it's at in this business i'm telling you it's not just going out buying a storage and you chuck some boxes around and you make some money it's easy to talk about how to how to buy a storage unit how to put something on ebay but the real Necessity to this business is work, hard work. I'm telling you, it's not easy. You buy lots of storages, it's it's not easy work. You buy one a month, legit, easy. You buy two, low key, you're doing all right, you're not breaking a sweat. You buy 10, 15 storage units a month because you're trying to get somewhere and they're not exactly always just, boom, $7,000 profit. It's nonstop energy being exerted. Yes, I say all the time that when you do what you love, you'll never work a hard day in your life. That doesn't mean that there's not actual physical energy being exerted, no matter how much you love it. So just saying, it's always work. It's a constant, look, I mean, it's just stuff. I'm about to finish unloading this unit. I just been filming the unboxing. And then I'm going to organize this up a little bit because I've still been moving back in here. I gotta put my shelves together. I kept these out of that $25 locker. I'm gonna put them up here and get my eBay stuff situated. Hustle, grind, rewind. So, for the lack of better words, that unit was not just a great come up. I spent $328 after everything was said and done. Plus, I have to give the Salt Princess a little something for helping me with the loading of it really quick. But we bought it on the way. <coughs> Dang it. Dust. Dust. Sorry, I just got my uh, sinuses caught up right now. My eyes are affected. My voice, everything. Keep sneezing. 
yes, we picked it up on the way back from the flea market. So we hit the market today and then we picked that up. So all in all, it was cool. I'm going to show you real quick a recap of everything that we got out of there. I deem actually cool. Here we have a cowgirl backpack. I'm going to gift that to a friend of mine. This is the, this. is We're going over a quick recap here, by the way, of everything. I feel it's cool. America, only a couple bucks. But maybe my child would like that. Or maybe I will try to fit that on at auction. We have some snowboard type style gloves and pants those are sometimes good on ebay depending on the brand we have bebe jackets and skirts gonna check those out on ebay right here we have some interesting mirrors or uh, artwork they're of asia motif look almost like wood block wood block prints they're not wood block prints so they're they're some type of pier one import you can see by the price tag right here 95 bucks each let us let us not salad but just let us the quality laminator still don't know what that's worth that's got possibly a few bucks in store for it some form of a uh, college almanac class book decorative art but i still like that. that's a cool table item for five bucks some type of photography tom sovic an otter with a coca-cola we've got a brand new swimsuit 69 bucks We've got a happy shirts made in USA. It's made in Hawaii. Looks vintage by the tag, but the 2002 is a dead giveaway that it's not. We got this really cool Bebe. I think it was Bebe. Was it Bebe? Bebe? No, it was Shine New York. Sorry, Shine New York for calling it Bebe. Rabbit fur hoodie, hooded vest. Kind of cute, kind of cute. Some cool tapes. I don't know why I kept them out. We had that poster. Platinum edition coins. We got the models. Those will go right on to eBay. Tommy Hilfinger purse. We've got the LL Cool J. LL Cool J is hot as hell hat. I almost might want to keep that for myself, even though it's not a woman's or a man's. That's kind of cool. That's got to be 20, 25 bucks. I think I'm keeping that one for myself. Interesting little things. I don't know why I set these aside, but I'm, kids love books. Definitely going to look into this. Somebody's writing a book. Maybe we can have it published. Maybe we can publish it ourselves. Children's books, right on. Shout out to children's books. Children's always need to read, and I know a lot of children. Madonna books, those might be eBay. We have the CD collection. Probably going to see if Tom Cruise is interested, and most likely he's not because they're not cool enough and they're not cases, but I'll give it a try. Right here. I want to have this looked at. It looks like some form of a, a rug or a tapestry for a wall. It's hard to say. It looks like. Almost like something was spilt on it right there. I like it because it look it's got the handmade look. This is this is handmade of some form. If you look deep in there, there's a high KPSI right there. This is just the canvas back to kind of stitch it together and give it some stability. But I like the pattern and there's something about it that makes me want to have it looked at. I'm not sure what it is, but it's not your normal rug. It's not Pier One Imports. That's for sure. Then we got Rabbit Fur Jacket here. This white rabbit fur jacket. Princess Caravel. Princess Caravel. Size eight. We got another little rug. I don't think this one is of, of any value either, but it still has potential. It kind of has like a possible handmade look to it. Doesn't seem super intriguing as the other one, but it still was enough to, you know, set it aside. Bring on, we have the Ralph Lauren blanket. That's a good table item for the flea market. See, this is not all eBay items, but you have to think sometimes you might not get any eBay items. You're gonna get table items. So that blanket has got to be worth 10 bucks at least at the flea market being as Ralph Lauren. A little box, 10, 15 bucks, was probably purchased at Pier 1 Imports because they seem to have liked that store, is my guess. We've got some books, early Japanese, more college programs, 10,000 Dreams, the Feng Shui. Clothes with tags on it, several Bebe cashmere style sweaters and Old Navy sweaters. So look what we got here. That's a Ralph Lauren. It was one that said Bebe or two. Make me, uh, make me a false advertiser over here. Clothing. Bebe, there we go. See, I knew I saw some Bebe. This one is Bebe. Some more new stuff. Don't forget the pink roller skates. Too small for me to wear. Good enough for me to put on the internet. They say on sale for $29.98. So I'm not going to know if I'm going to go by that or not. I'm going to have to look them up when I get the time. John Frank, ex-football player, gone surgeon as we read. Signed football, some ink. We got these shoes here that are decent, uh, better than the other ones. Some Doc Martens, some Pearl Izumi. We have some Asola. Asola. We have Echo, Mark Echo footwear. Those are probably decent in the North Face. 
Once again, we have this box that really intrigued me. This box made me buy the unit. I probably would have bought it for the dust and I might not have, I might have backed out at some point. But something like this, I probably would have kept going. This stupid box right here. Uh, don't let me say stupid. Let me retract that statement. This unrewarding box right here, I would have kept going because of it. I it it's this how I roll. The gambler in me. We thought we got lucky when we opened the drawer up because I found this ring. And for just one split second, it took me like that. And already by that far into it, I knew it wasn't gold because I have an eye for these things. And I just knew it was not. But for a split second there, I'm thinking, nice. Pretty cool furniture here. Don't get me wrong. I think that's an easy 30, 40 bucks because sofa tables seem to be kind of something people want these days. And this is a nice one. Bambooish, wickerish top, metal shelf from the bottom that's easy 30 40 bucks we have this pretty neat plaster style girl she's got a little chip that's why i know it's plaster you can see it somebody nicked her say i'm easily gonna get 40 or 50 bucks for that she's kind of tall over my waist very hot um ah, well, i shouldn't say very she's somewhat weighty somewhat weighty we got a table set here this table set coffee table and end table that's got to be a good 30 40 bucks too they're not as desirable. The style of those, believe it or not, are not as super desirable. I will. Oh, 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 the price just went down. Price just went down. We'll blame that on the salt princess. This is a nice table for two right here. This is a great patio table. This is a great little nook kitchen table. If it's just you and your homegirl or husband and wife, boo and bae, you know, whatever you want to call it. You guys are chilling. Just you two. Perfect table setting for y'all. I'm guessing I could probably get 75 for this. It's very heavy duty metal, not cheap metal, rod iron style. Glass is good. This little candle holder is at least in our 10 or 15 bucks minimum. Not gonna overprice things, but all in all, several boxes of flea market stuff. This whole pile right here is all flea market stocked in. Mediocre, next to nothing. It's a little bit of personal paperwork that I'll pull out. TV that I'll have to donate to e-waste. Blankets, stuff like that, trivial stuff. Lastest, lastest, but not leastest. Signed over here, Walfredo, Walfredo. It's signed over here, somebody. It's signed over here, somebody, but I believe those are all prints. Then it's signed over here again. And then it's signed, Wyland 97. Now, I don't understand all that. This looks like a real legit signature right here. This one here looks like it's written on or painted on. I can't tell. It's got glass on it. So usually only uh, watercolors come behind practice. Blah, 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 blah. Once again, we're messing our words up. It's usually only watercolors come with a piece of uh, glass on it. But the 83 of 295, that right there in itself gives it some type of stature. That is definitely a copy right there. That signature is not original, but that's penciled in or penned in. Sadly, the certificate of authenticity wasn't in there. The title is Ribbon of Life, edition C83 of 295 PO, customer Thornton. Mirage picture framing, no COA. I didn't see it while I was going through the paperwork, but we obviously only got a minuscule part of these people's life. It wasn't like we got everything. It's just what they didn't take with them. They left it and they finally got tired of paying the bill. If any of y'all have an idea on what that piece of art is worth, the Wyland or whatever those names, there's a lot of names on there. There's too many names for me to even try to fathom on there. I don't know why there's so many names. Let me know. Let me know in the comments section below. Tell me what you thought. Uh, this unit will definitely be some form of profit. I could see, I could see probably doubling my money on it. When it's all said and done, a little bit of sell in the market, a little bit of eBaying, a little bit of waiting for the right customer on the tables at the flea market and not just offing it at the end and throwing it away, but I have to put a couple things back. But I can see doubling my money pretty legitimately. Nothing of extravagance that makes me excited other than that Wyland piece of art. So there's not no boom, this is the money item. It's all just mediocre. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Would I buy this storage unit again? In a heartbeat. Every time I see dust on a storage unit like that, I will buy it every single time in a heartbeat. That's where the money's at to me. That's the excitement, the thrill that I'm looking for. It's generally an older stuff, more untouched, more. That one didn't have the pizzazz that a normal unit like that would have in my eyes, but I would do it every single time, again and again and again. Whether I lost, whether I won, and I wouldn't be upset because 
it's not always money to me. I'm a pirate. I'm not out here just looking for a quick dollar bill. I'm out here looking for treasure. I'm out here for the thrill of it. That's what a pirate does. A pirate does what he does because he enjoys it and the thrill of the hunt, the treasure hunt, mm, X marks the spot. That's what a pirate does. Thank you all for watching this video. Blessings, much love, much more to come. Stay tuned. I love y'all. Words don't describe. That's how we live it, don't I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be an accountant because it's safe in the business.